today we're here to look at your average intermediate skier. What we really want to do today is help that skier to learn how to carve and ultimately get a better ski performance and, and have more fun. Hi everybody, my name's Tom Waddington. I'm a Basie trainer and British demo team member. So we've looked at the data, we've crunched the numbers and only 12% of carve users can make those really advanced, accurate carving turns with a ski IQ of over 135. So today we've been out and we've found the perfect skier who can do parallel turns, can ski the whole mountain and um, yeah, here he is. Come on in, Aidan. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go skiing with Aidan now, we're gonna have a little look at his skiing, we're gonna analyse that, look at the carve data and give him some tips and drills to really help him smash through his plateaus and, and take his carving to the next level. Okay, we've had a look at the carve data and Aidan's ski IQ is 126. So it's, a, it's around that intermediate piece skier who's not quite yet fully carving. He has a narrow stance, which means he, he often loses his base of support. He is actually not using his lower legs to, to ski and create edge angle. He's just leaning with his upper body into the turn, which means the edge angle comes late he often allows his hip to fall back over the backs of the skis and it kind of stays there. So that means he doesn't have access to, his, to the fronts of the boots and therefore to the shovels, which is, is going to affect his outside ski pressure, especially at the top of the turn, which means it's harder to balance at the top of the turn and it's harder to roll onto an edge to create a platform. Okay, so there are three areas that Aidan can improve his score, and, and these are early edging in the turn, overall edging, and outside pressure. If we can improve these things, Aidan's gonna get a higher ski IQ, and his carving's gonna look way better. So let's go jump into these tips and drills to improve Aidan's skiing. So, what we, the point of the turn that we really want to focus on at the moment with you is the top of the turn and building a better platform and more edge angle because that's what you're lacking in your skiing. So, what I want you to do is actually just practice skiing from the feet upwards. We're going to go into a little bit of a drill for you to practice, which is just looking at foot roll, where we're going to roll onto an edge roll on to a flat ski then roll back onto an edge so just getting your lower joints working together and practicing going onto an edge so just going across the hill make sure you lock up for safety just look at rolling onto edges and then rolling off we should make these little little c shapes as we're going along so picking up a little bit of speed we're going to roll onto an edge roll off Okay, and a good thing to do is actually look back at your tracks and you can see your edge, your stance width, which is another thing we're gonna work on with you and look at how well you've rolled onto both edges. All right, so I'm just gonna watch you now. Let's have a little look up first. So Aiden. You see here where it's not that clean? You can see here. And you can see here where it's scrubbed a little bit. Yeah. yeah. That's because you're actually rushing in with your inside leg and forgetting to roll with your outside leg. Feel that. Yeah. So really concentrate on that downhill ski. It's important that we can Create edge angle simultaneously, like this. Let's go for it. 
have a gradual roll and not try to just sort of go straight onto an edge. So you feel the build up pressure. Yeah, that's a bit better with the outside ski. That's a bit better. Still got a little scrub there. Yeah, yeah you yeah. do. You see the difference in tracks. So that's actually really good to, to highlight is see the, the C shape almost of the tracks and a little bit of scrub with yours. Okay, so we're going to go off and practice now and, and let Aidan do more of these garlands. And then hopefully when we put it back into his carving skiing, he's going to feel that he's got the ability to create better ad, edge angle through the use of his lower joints, um, especially after practicing a lot of this drill. So we've been working on kind of part of the turn now using these garlands, and we're just gonna start to put that into our skiing on flatter terrain. So you get now used to going from outside ski to outside ski, but trying to keep the lines like we did over here as clean as possible from edge to edge. So using those lower joints to roll onto an edge. So here we go. I'll give you a demo. Try it, give it a go. So rolling, rolling, rolling. So we've been working on some garlands to help develop Aidan's edge angle and the use of his lower joints. But looking at the video, sorry Aidan, but you, he skis a little bit like a skittle. So, you know, he, he ends up tipping in too early and, and getting stuck on the inside ski. So moving forward, I think it would be really good. Tip number two is to work on some javelin turns and that should help his balance, his separation, and especially help his outside ski pressure scores. So have you tried javelin turns before? No, I haven't. So for me, there's, there's quite a lot of different variations of javelin turn. The one we're doing today is one that's aimed more towards carving, which means we'll be going from edge to edge and outside ski to outside ski, which is really important for you and for your early edging and outside ski pressure. Essentially what we're doing is we're moving on to a edge angle at the top of the turn. Okay. And then we're actually going to start to lift the inside ski. So it points across the other ski like this, but it'd be much more simple when I actually just show you. So here we go. Okay, good job, Aidan. Um, not a bad first effort for javelin turns. Uh, I think that they're one of my favorite drills. There's a, there's a big positional element to them of you know being in the front of your boot. You have the separation from your upper body so we can balance more over the outside ski. And then we're moving from edge to edge so we can work on our edge angle as well. With it being on one leg, it kind of forces you into into the good positions that we need to be in in skiing. One of the mistakes people do in this drill is that they actually fall onto the inside because maybe they're gonna, they're rushing the turn or they're not quite balanced enough on the old outside ski. So they fall into the inside and they don't have the patience to move, set up on an edge angle and feel the platform and then take lift off the other ski. What you need to do to maybe get a little better at javelin turns is try to have more shin pressure. Make sure that you keep the sort of hip over the foot as much as you can. Good shin pressure. And that's gonna help you because something we see in your skiing beforehand is that that hip drops back and we don't engage the front of the, uh, of the boot and the front of the ski. So just looking at you coming down there, Aidan, when it gets steeper, this drill becomes harder because you've got more forces to deal with. So what was happening was that you were letting the hip drop back and a telltale sign of this is that you see the ski like this with the tail touching the ground. So the hip was dropping back, 
you are losing contact with the shin and the front of the boot and then with the front of the ski okay so really try and when it gets steeper is that we're always moving along the length of the ski we've got good shin pressure and we're in this position not this position yeah so making sure that we're here with a javelin turn okay and then when we move we make a nice progressive movement onto that new outside ski and then we can lift the other ski up okay so Aidan uh, I'm really impressed with the developments that you've done there in the javelin turns you know we can go away and practice this now for a week two weeks a month and it a javelin turn is something I practice in my own skiing all the time uh, I think it's it's brilliant get better at skiing and really improve those carving turns so what we're going to do now is just go and put that put some of those fundamental stuff from from the drill and put that into your into your carving turns Okay, so we've just finished off putting um, the skills back into, into your skiing and I'm really happy with the way it's gone. Uh, it's looking a lot better uh, in my eyes. I think you are working the ski a lot more. It looks like there's better edge angle and overall a better performance. So good job. Now the crucial point is we're going to have to check the ski IQ. And, and the data. So let's have a look at your score. Let's have a look at what it is. And uh, ski IQ 140. Oh, nice. nice. <laughs> well done, mate. Well done. And um, can we see the, the breakdown in that? We've got much better edge angle. Uh, we've increased that by quite a bit. And you've also increased your early edging. Amazing. Um, what about pressure? And uh, amazing, your outside ski pressure is also, um, it's a much better score and increased again. So nice one. You can really see it in your performance. You can see that you're a lot more active with your, with your lower legs, that you're balancing a lot better with your upper body. You're not tipping in anymore. Your overall position is better. Your stance width is better. Um, so it's a, it's a great improvement in you know in, in in a day if you looked at the videos from this morning and then put them side by side with the videos from this afternoon you can really see a clear difference so Aidan how does it feel oh it feels great it's um it's good to see the metrics go up but what really mattered for me was that feeling of particularly the outside ski um, really doing the work through the turn so yeah it feels amazing nice nice good work mate good work really improved your skiing today so happy well done thanks so I've really enjoyed skiing with Aidan today, seen some great improvements from him. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please hit like, subscribe and comment. See you on the slope soon. And... Um... <laughs> <laughs>